generated biogas channel to the kitchen to supplement firewood for cooking is currently producing three to four hours of cooking gas, which is now primarily relied on as a source of energy in the school's kitchen, augmenting firewood needs equated to 4.2 hectares of mature trees per year. Now, the gas produced from the biodigester has many advantages for this school. We realize now we're having a lot of problems with the shortage of firewood, and we, we are using it. So it is saving in that area. It is, it is also clean. You know, compared to charcoal, you can't compare it, of course, with charcoal. It is clean. Uh, it is also easy to use. You don't have to waste a lot of time. You know, we're saving time because you don't have to go out to get the firewood and, and, and all these things. If actually, it makes things life easier because when you get your meals on time, you're in class on time, you can read and you can produce good results. This project has seen the school save on fuel, energy and conserve forests by not using wood fuel, keeping the compound clean and addressing sanitation-related problems. The treated liquid waste on the output will be channeled to irrigate the school farm and nursery. The importance of introducing this EcoSan project as a, in a pilot phase was introduce new technical options in Kenya which does not follow the usual sanitation procedures. What EcoSan tries to do is to make sanitation a productive activity with economic benefits so that to make it more attractive for the people of Kenya. The next project is public sanitation in Naivasha Bus Park. The business community at the Naivasha Bus Park reads from a similar script. The Municipal Council of Naivasha at the facility, a toilet facility at the bus stage, that facility was wanting for both women and men. Its uh, outlook was in a very bad state. It used to have human waste scattered all over, up to the door of that facility. A once dilapidated, smelly toilet that polluted the environment has been replaced with a new facility and fitted with a biodigester that produces biofuel. It is providing access to safe sanitation for 9,000 people in a month, comprising of single travelers, regular user residents and business people. It is also providing safe water in a water kiosk. Naifasha, inatusaindia sana, juu hii show ikona maji, na hile, ingi, na hile ingine show ilikuwa hapo kitambo, hii kukuwa na maji, ilikuwa shafu sana, paka kama watu wale, walikuwa na kuja na bazi, yani wasafiri, walikuwa na ingia kwa muranga, wakakuta vila inaharibiwa huko, wakatoka bila hata kujisaindia. Sasa wakati hii show ilitengenezo, wanafulaia hiyo sana. The new sanitation facility at the Naivasha Bus Park was put in operation in July 2007. 9,000 users are served by the facility in a month. Out of this, 3,600 are single-user travelers and 180 regular user residents and business people. The facility also offers showers for bathing, which are used mainly by the residents and business people. It is connected to the town water supply and has enough storage tanks to cater for short supply interruptions. Furthermore, a better operation and management system has been put in place to ensure that the facility generates enough revenue to finance itself. A trained operator has been contracted by the water service provider for the day-to-day -day operation of the facility. Tulifuza tukambiwa hiyo ni kitu yasa enea watu wa kiswaya na wakijua mana yake. Na kwa vile sasa kuna shida ya kuni, kuna shida ya mafuta ataa, kuna shida ya moto yote. Hiyo ni moto wabawo hai takalimu kitu. Ambawe na kalimu hile chakuro likura, makojoa hilo likojoa, na maji hilo nisabiza nae choo. Kwa hivyo naonekana watu wa kitumuyo muradi, watakuwa wanainua Kenya kwa hali murefu sana. A trained operator has been contracted by the water service provider for the day-to-day -day operation of the facility. The gas generated by the plant is channeled to a local hotel at the bus stop for cooking. This biogas we use to make chai as a breakfast, to make mayai, to make kuchamusha maziwa, and to make ugali.
ni kama gasi ya kawaida wezi kujua tofauti isipokuwa uambiwe umetoka kwa choo kisha kisha hakuna tofauti hata harufu haina iko sawa kabisa Naivasha is a small sized town located at the shores of the fresh water lake Naivasha about 80 kilometers from Nairobi city the town covers an area of 30 kilometers squared and has a population estimated at 70000 The sanitation in the town relies mostly on pit latrines. Only 5% of households and businesses are connected to the sewer line which is linked to a treatment facility. The town also faces environmental disaster as water in Lake Naivasha is being drained at a very fast rate by flower farms in the region. Similar projects have been emulated in Nyanza and Western Kenya provinces respectively. In Ugunja market such a modern toilet is still under construction at an advanced stage upon completion it is intended to cater for the entire market population of about 2000 wenyewe tumekuwa na furaha kwa kuwa na hii choo mpya hapo awali kulikuwa na shida sababu macho zilikuwa zinajengwa za mabati hizi za kawaida na miezi sita saba hizi choo inabomoka hii soko inafungwa kwa sababu choo kitari sasa hii uzuri wa choo umetumaona tutakuwa na choo nzuri ambao tutakuwa na mazingira pia mazuri tutakuwa tunapata mahali pa kwenda choo pazuri baada ya kwenda choo unaosha mikono unatoka kuwa msafi shida nyingi ambayo tumekuwa nayo ya kufungwa fungwa sio kwa ajili ya kipindipindi itakuwa imepungua alafu hiyo choo imesema ya kwamba itakuwa inatoa gas The business community at the market which is known for this special dried fish known to the Abeluya as Eshivambala lack clean toilet facilities and hope that the public toilet will resolve their sanitation problems. Ramba Boys High School is just an example of the sad situation in most schools in the region. So generally we were 23 Things look calm in the school but it's only when you look closer that you realize all is not well. You will be forgiven for thinking this student is undressing in preparation to take a shower but no it is because the school toilets are so dilapidated and smelly students have to remove their clothes while visiting them or risk carrying the smell on their clothes to class. You know the toilets are smelling so if you enter with the, the uniform and you take some time there you will come out with the smell so we remove the shirt so that if we come out that smell doesn't come with you from the toilet <laughs>